Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. So for today's video, we have one of my favorite videos to watch and to film, and of course, it is a Sephora haul. And I wanted to pick up two skincare items, and I went to the store, and of course, I walked out with way more than just two skincare items. It's just like a magnet. I cannot go to that store and walk out with what I was initially supposed to buy. But anyway, of course, I wanted to share with you guys these new goodies that I picked up because I'm so excited whenever I get new makeup. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so first off, I bought a couple of masks um, because I always like to have these around whenever I want to do like a little pampering. Um, they're refreshing. They work. They feel nice. And it's just, you know, a nice girly thing to do. And they're inexpensive. And like I said, they just feel nice. And I really love the hand ones. They really like moisturize and hydrate my hands so i picked up a hand mask i also picked up a face mask and then i picked up a honey eye mask so these are always fun to have um the next product i picked up is from first aid beauty and it's one of their masks and it's one of the best of beauty allure um winning masks and this one is called skin rescue purifying mask with red clay and it is supposed to minimize the appearance of pores, remove excess sebum, and mattify. And it's safe for sensitive skin. And this is what the packaging looks like. And let me take it out for you guys. This is it right here. It brings um, three ounces of product in it. And I think this costs 30 bucks, something like that. I don't really remember. Anywhere between 30 and 40, no more than 40. Anyway. I already used this and my and my husband actually used it as well um, I was like okay this is I've never used a peel off mask before so when I applied it it has like this gel consistency and of course it's red because it's with red clay um, well orangey not really red anyway it has this gel like consistency and it goes on really nice and smoothly and it felt really cooling on my face as it dried up you're supposed to let it dry for a, for 20 minutes um, and then after it dried it was really um, like plasticky looking on my face and but it felt super smooth and anyway you know I left it on it felt nice it did get tight so it's one of those masks that gets tight on your face and I'm like is this really gonna like dry to the way that I can like peel it off like one entire mask and it really did come off like a whole entire face mask and you're supposed to wash off whatever you have excess on your face with warm water I had like very little um product left on my face once I peeled it off and my face felt a uh, kind of dry after I took it off but when I put my moisturizer on my face was so smooth and it just felt like you know deeply cleansed I like to use masks because you just feel like your face is like refreshed and like everything just came out of it so I did like it and when I did take off the mask I did see like a whole bunch of white stuff I'm assuming that's like dead um, dead skin and um, you know of course some hair that came out but um I really liked it besides the fact that I felt dry after you know everything else felt good um, and like I said it's an Allure bestseller so I read a lot of good reviews on it so I really did like it um, I've only used it once so let's see how it continues to work on my face you're supposed to use it twice a week I tend to get lazy with masks but um, I'm going to try and use it as much as possible because I really want to get my skin clear and rid of all like the impurities that it may have from wearing makeup. The next skincare item that I picked up is from Murad and it is the Skin Perfecting Lotion um, and this is the packaging. It is an oil-free hydration um, moisturizer and it soothes and retexturizes your skin and it helps keeps, it helps keeps, it helps keep pores clear and minimized for smoother looking skin. I tried this um, already and it feels so nice and hydrating it's thin in consistency it's not a thick um, type of moisturizer at all but it really reminds me like the smell of it reminds me of the um, what is it it's the hangover primer I think it's Too Faced um, that coconutty smell that one smells like a little extra coconutty but this has that same kind of scent to it and it and that same like refreshing feeling if you've ever used that primer this feels just like that i really really enjoyed it when i applied it to my face um 
I'm a real believer of this brand's um, product. I really feel like it works. So I really wanted to get my hands on this because it's supposed to hydrate and protect. And you know, now in the winter, like I've mentioned before, my skin needs that hydration, yet I still get oily. So it's kind of like this crazy little battle that I'm always going through. But anyway, I really, really like this. Um, so I definitely recommend it um, as a nice moisturizer to hydrate. The next product that I picked up is also from Murad and it is their Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. And this is what that looks like in the box. Let's take it out. I have not used this yet, so I don't know if it works, but I read a lot of reviews and the majority of them were positive. And like I've mentioned before, I have a lot of dark spots because of like pimples that I get and then once they go away, it always leaves a mark. So I definitely want to try something that's going to lighten up these these um, dark spots like fast because I can't stand looking at them. So this um, is supposed to reveal a clearer, brighter complexion while prohibiting future pigmentation. Um, guy glycolic acid exfoliates to remove dead skin cells helping the active ingredient penetrate quickly for faster results and I want fast results so I have high hopes for this stuff I really hope it works I can't wait to start using it um, and yeah hopefully it lightens up these dark spots okay the next thing I picked up is from Urban Decay and it is their all-nighter um, makeup setting spray I needed a new one so I just went to my trust the Urban Decay one because I've always liked this um, this setting spray but ever since the last one I had they changed their packaging and now it's black and with purple writing and it looks really pretty I like it so yeah just pick that bad boy up the next product that I picked up I had been wanting since I think December I saw someone on YouTube talking about it and I'm like oh I want to try that because I always used to use um, a MAC mascara for this but this is the Clinique bottom lash mascara with long wearing formula and this is what the box looks like um, when I first went to Sephora to look for it they didn't have it so I just always forgot to buy it or look for it again but this time around I remembered about it and I picked it up and this is the little tube right here and this thing comes with the teeniest tiniest little brush ever like I've never used a mascara with this size brush before and it really leaves your bottom lashes nice and long but I don't know if it's because I've never used something so tiny it was so annoying to use and I put a big blob of mascara under my eye like I always dirty my under eye when I'm putting my lower lash mascara doesn't matter what I'm using I'm always gonna get something under there but this thing I was like oh my god like this is just so teeny like I can't like I just wasn't used to it I guess so that's why I really put like extra mascara under my um, in my under eye area but it does work it does make my lashes nice and long and so far I've had my makeup on for at least two hours and there's no transfer it's not smudging on me so that's good because everything other than my MAC mascara and I think the L'Oreal telescopic transfers when I use it on my lower lash line and this one so far hasn't so I hope that it doesn't and it's not expensive it's only like 11.50 I think so if you're interested on trying something for your lower lash line this is really good um, I guess you just have to get used to using something so teeny teeny tiny but <laughs> I do like it the next thing I got uh, when it came out I was like oh my god I really want to check that out it looks so pretty um, and it is the NARS highlighting limited edition um, palette and this is what it looks like I'm not even gonna pronounce the whole name I will just write it down here and you guys can go ahead and read it because I know I'm gonna sound retarded anyway this is what it looks like it has this beautiful reflective packaging in like rose gold and then it says NARS on it and it's very lightweight this is really good for like um, traveling because it doesn't weigh a thing and it's so small and compact it's really really nice this retails for $49 and then you get three colors and I was so intrigued by it because the colors just looked so universally flattering like it wasn't one of those palettes that has a whole bunch of products and then the the highlights so many of the highlights look rather similar I mean, you have your nice um, like light pearlized gold color then you have more of a champagne gold and then you have your rose gold the colors are so stunning they're so so pretty the one I have on today is this one right here 
as you can see it gives you this wet kind of glow from within like it's so pretty i absolutely love it it's not chunky or glittery it's just shimmer and it just like melts in your skin i love it so much it's so so pretty and in my for my brow bone highlight i use this lighter shade um and my for my tear duct highlight now the name of this first one like the more pearlized one is called rivage um the middle one is called sale and then this last one is called m bronze they are so pretty let me swatch them so you can see this is the one i'm wearing right now then you have sale which is more of a champagne gold and then you have this lighter one which is called rivage i hope that's what it's called they are so buttery and blend so nicely and it doesn't emphasize texture and it's not like anything chunky you can use this product wet or dry it has such a nice beautiful glow like a noticeable glow just dry this is just me applying a dry so i have yet to see what it looks like when you wet it but this is so awesome like i'm so happy that i picked it up i really love the colors they're so universally flattering and it's nothing too light and nothing too dark i feel like i can use all of these shades um, and you can also use this as eyeshadow so even though it's a bit pricey and you know the sizing the size of each one is not huge it's great quality so it's worth the money i feel so yeah i really think you guys should check into this palette if you're interested on getting some new highlights because it's perfect for like you know a more natural glow for daytime glow because sometimes I'm, I'm doing my makeup and i'm like okay i'm going out during the day i don't want to be too crazy with the highlight or and you can just build it up and intensify it for a more dramatic glow if that's what you're into i really really think that this is a great palette okay and lastly guys of course i got some more lip products so the first one i'm going to talk about is the one i'm wearing today the smashbox be legendary liquid metal um lip gloss the color petal metal and this is what it looks like um i mentioned in my last video that i wanted to get this one but i wasn't sure if it would suit me and when i got went to the store and i swatched it oh my god i literally almost dropped to the ground i was like this color is flipping gorgeous i can't take it out of the box guys oh i'm out it's stuck mm. hello come out lord okay got it okay so this is what it looks like and let me swatch it it's very pigmented these glosses are super duper pigmented it's metallic as heck it is so gorgeous i love 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 this color i think it's so so pretty it shines so beautifully it's comfortable on my lips i i think you could wear it during the day and at night it's just so pretty i love 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 this lip gloss okay and the last two um, lip products that I picked up are from the Too Faced um, Sweet Peach collection and I picked up the color Peachsicle. This is what the packaging looks like and I love me a peach lip so I definitely really liked their lip glosses and I couldn't choose between these two that I picked up so I just went ahead and got both of them. They feel, I haven't tried them on my lips but just swatching them they feel really comfortable and glossy this is peachsicle it's very very peachy and i didn't necessarily buy these lip glosses to wear on their own i bought them more so to apply over top of a lipstick or a um a liquid lipstick so and wear, to wear them alone if it looks good on its own but more so to put over top of lipsticks and make them more peachy and then the second one oh it smells so good um the next one that i picked up is called what is this thing called Papa Don't peach and this one i really really loved it too when i swatched it and i'm like i don't know which one to get so i just got both of them this one is more on the brownier side but it looked so so pretty i just i just had to have it and that is it right here they're both so pretty and i can't wait to try them out on their own and over top of other lipsticks they smell divine these things oh my god they smell so yummy 
um anyway hopefully the colors look good on me okay guys so that is it for this haul um i'm so excited with all these products that i picked up i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're a new subscriber thanks so much for subbing to my channel i hope you enjoyed and i will definitely catch you guys soon with another video bye guys